Hey guys, Pokedan here. So on this channel, I tend to talk a lot about some of my favourite things in the Pokemon franchise. I usually stay away from negative top 10s, but I thought it would be cool to switch some things up a bit. One type of Pokemon that fans just seem to adore are the starter Pokemon. And hey, some of them I love as well. However, there are some starters that in my opinion just aren't all that great. They aren't necessarily the worst starters, they're just not my favourites. So yeah, in this video you guys join me to count down my top 5 least favourite starter Pokemon. Of course guys, this is all in my opinion, so take that into thought if I do diss on one of your favourite starter Pokemon. And let me know down below who your least favourite starters are. But with all that being said, let's get started with the video. you guys like memes? Of course you do, who doesn't? But do you like outdated memes? Nah, didn't think so, neither do I. And that's the reason why Mudkip comes in at the number 5 spot. Oh, and I say Mudkip because I actually like its evolution line, but this Pokemon itself, I'm not a huge fan of. Whenever I look at Mudkip, I see a cute Pokemon, but I also see that outdated do you like Mudkip's meme? And let me just say that when I see someone use this, it's just like, why? It's so old and it's so dumb. Even to this day, this meme has affected my life. Just scripting this video, do you see here? The corrected spelling of like is this. This meme is still ruining my life. And sadly, it's also made me think less of the actual Pokemon too. I'm not sure if this is much of a reason to diss on Mudkip, but it for sure made me like the Pokemon less. Coming in at the number 4 spot on this list is Delphox. This is a starter that I don't like due to a tragic experience that I had with its pre-evolution Fennekin. So, when Pokemon X and Y were first released, with them, we had tons of new features, and I wanted to test them all out. But of course, being the dumb kid that I was, I tested out Wonder Trade with my starter Pokemon Fennekin. When I realised it was gone for good, it was so heartbreaking, and I decided to start the game over, but this time using Chespin. I didn't make this mistake again, and because I accidentally wonder traded away my Fennekin, whenever I look at any Pokemon in the evolution line, I'm reminded of that heartbreaking feeling of losing the starter. By no means is Fennekin a bad Pokemon, it's just that because of what happened, I don't like it all that much. I am a massive fan of the Johto region, and two of its starters as well, but the one that I don't care much for is Meganium. I know that a lot of people also say this, and I promise I'm not just joining the bandwagon. Once again, this is because of my own personal experiences with the Pokemon. I've played through my copy of Pokemon Soul Silver enough times to be able to have choosed all the starters. And well, I have. And even though I loved using Typhlosion and Feraligator, using Meganium was kind of just boring. I can't really explain why, I just didn't feel as thrilled to be using it as I did with the others. And that's really just it. I don't dislike Meganium because of its design or how strong it is. It's just because I've never really enjoyed using it. Sorry to all the Meganium fans out there, that's just how it is. Another region had one of the more weaker starter trios, but still, I loved Embo. However, one evolution line that I don't feel the same way about is the Samurott evolution line. When I first played through Pokemon Black, Oshawott was the starter that I chose to use. However, like with Meganium, I just didn't enjoy using it, and the reason why I didn't like using Oshawott was actually because of the Pokemon anime. When I was a bit younger, I really disliked Ash's Oshawott in the Unova anime, and whilst my opinion on it now has changed and I like it, when I was younger, I despised this Pokemon. After some time, I got bored of playing with Oshawott, so I just restarted my game and used Tepig. I loved using this Pokemon, it was just so much better than Oshawott. 
Sorry to whoever likes this evolution line, but that's just how I feel about it. Alright, so coming in at the number one spot and my least favourite starter Pokemon is... Torterra. You guys know me, I love all things Sinnoh, but this Pokemon is one exception to that. Also, by the way, when I say Torterra, I do mean just Torterra. Two Twig is amazing and, eh, I suppose Grottle's okay, but I'm not really a fan of what comes next. In the Sinnoh anime, Ash did have a two twig, and it was full of personality and just really likeable, but as it evolved, I found myself not caring as much about it. Honestly, I don't think Ash's two twig should have evolved. It was worse as a Torterra. I mentioned it already in a recent video, but I have used all the Sinnoh starters, and Torterra has been my least favourite to use. The Sinnoh games had arguably the best starter trio, and when compared to the likes of Infernape and Empoleon, Torterra doesn't look all that great, and honestly, I'm just not a fan. But anyway guys, with all that being said, that pretty much wraps things up for this video. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. And also, once again, I'm sorry if I hated on one of your favourite starters. Be sure to let me know about it down below, as well as who your least favourite starters are. But with all that being said, for now, I've been Pogodan, you've been amazing, and I'll see you guys next time.